I would hide my blackness to the extent that I thought was available, my brown skin, um, because there were messages that this brown skin wasn't uh, appropriate for the workplace. And so I constantly struggled with, how do I tone that down? Do I straighten my hair? Do I wear something that's not as bold as what I'm wearing today? Um, and so I think that is a struggle that many humans, um, but I as a brown skinned woman, uh, faced for quite some time. When the culture of white supremacy is rooted in every institution, like uh, Dimitri said, like it's, it's really hard uh, unless you're doing making a conscious effort to be rooted in your identity, uh, be proud of who you are, knowing your history, knowing who you are, being proud of that, right? Um, and not buckling, not caving, not cowering. We see homogeny and as much, of, as much as in-group preference lives in us, that means we have to do that much more work to lean into that discomfort and start to find communities outside of ourselves to build that cultural competency so that we don't have to feel that extreme discomfort when we're met with someone who feels unexpected to the ways in which we perceived they were going to be or how they were going to look. You want to change the world, you want to change your community, you want to change your work environment, you want to change your family um, dynamic, it starts with changing yourself and that becomes contagious. <laughs>